Well, um, I'm just going to stop doing these Games Workshop drama videos because I pretty much said my piece on the three legs of the hobby and the, the, these Games Workshop bashing videos, which is what they turned out to be even though I tried not to, you know, they get a lot of views, but I just find them tiresome and I didn't want to make them. But, you know, I rant, so I got that out of my system over, what, three videos I think I did? Four? And wasn't really addressing them directly, just the hobby as it is. However, <laughs> I don't know how a company can beat itself up that bad. They're now withdrawing Age of Sigma product ranges. Some are going to get redone. That's fine. Um, but the thing is, when I first started to get back into this hobby uh, and the old world came out, was reissued, um, there, there was some resentment from the Age of Sigma people that kind of railed on, oh, you guys all threw your toys away, blah, blah, blah. And now that it's happening to Age of Sigma, <laughs> I'm seeing the same response that people gave when the uh, the Warhammer Fantasy Battle got blown up. So, you know, now I'm not enjoying that, although, you know, that, that little giggle I gave, I mean, I'm, I'm not enjoying it because I know what it's like. And there are lots of people, especially the older Warhammer Fantasy Battle people, know what it's like. And I don't understand why Games Workshop just don't listen to anybody. When the old world came back out and lots of people were rejoicing and happy. And then they said, oh, by the way, they gave a list of armies that said these won't be supported you can't play them competitively. They'll be on a separate Legends list or whatever crap name they put on it, you know, to try and get you into the mood. Anyway, um, so first there's a kickback from that, and it's like they don't, they've got their, their fingers in their ears going, la, 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 because now they've done it to Age of Sigma. And it's not popular, and of course it's not popular. And it's also unnecessary. And I'm going to call bullshit on them. Because, for example, one of the reasons that they said we're doing Age of Sigma instead of Warhammer Fantasy Battle is because the old world was full and they couldn't do anything else with it. Which, of course, they could um, if they let creative people actually control what was going on. So their idea was if we do Age of Sigma, which is in the ether, there's no barriers and they can just keep growing it and keep growing it and keep growing it however on their um their article for age of sigma they've said we have to stop producing and featuring some older models so why yeah, they don't what they really mean is, we're not making as much money on these existing models as we'd like to. So, screw you. And that's pretty much what they've always done. They don't have to stop producing them. They can stop producing them. And then they can license the models for someone else to produce them as needed in smaller amounts. But they have to make crap tons of money with everything they do. So as soon as your line stops selling at whatever level it is that they've got that they need to pay off their shareholders, you know, you, you, that's it. You, your line's done. So I guess my question is, they shut down Warhammer Fantasy Battle because they couldn't grow and make any new models. Um, now they're saying, oh, we can only have so many lines active at any one time and as they become, uh, you know, less, I don't know. It, it's kind of like 
They're blaming their customers. Well, you're not buying enough, so we're not going to do them anymore. I get that. It's a business. But why do you have to do them? I mean, you're licensing your IP to other people for other things. So why can't you license the minis to other people to produce? I don't get it. You didn't have to kill the old world because you could never have made enough armies for it anyway. Apparently. Age of Sigma. I mean, yeah, you can have 500 factions. But if you can't produce that many miniatures or have that many miniatures open, what what's the point? I don't get it. It's like you're tying yourself in knots. Trying to get out of saying... We need to make more and more money. Now, the shame about all of that is that what you, what they're really doing is undermining confidence. Um, you're undermining the confidence of your customers. And it's already kind of a niche market. And there is more and more competition. And I really do see that Games Workshop is suddenly going to crash at some point. They're going to just push one button too many and people are going they're going to hit to the po get to the point where they can only produce less and less miniatures because less and less are being profitable to the point that they want them and it's just going to turn into a death spiral i think and maybe that's a good thing maybe, maybe you know it's time for next man up i mean we've got the rules we can play whatever we want I mean, we've got the minis. They've set the bar for the minis. They've done all great things. I'm not, you know, this is why I hate Noggin Games Workshop. It's got such a great legacy. It's just a shame that, you know, it's turned into what it is at the moment. But maybe it's time for the next man up. There is, you know, there's lots of options out there. Everything from one page rules, you know, to Kings of War. I guess my problem is, and this is me personally, everything's me personally, my opinion. So, you know, argue at me. Just don't get, you know, some people get a little bit personal, I've seen in the comments sometimes. It's like, no need for that. I guess my biggest problem with Next Man Up is that I haven't found a game that I like as much as Warhammer Fantasy Battles, really. I like Kings of War, but it's definitely not the same game. Kings of War just feels like a skirmish game to me. But instead of just one model on the on the base, you have lots of models on the base, but at the end of the day, you kind of still play a skirmish game that looks like a rank and file game. Because there's no rules for the rank and file, really. It's just like one blob of a unit. Anyway, um, yeah, I really think that we or Games Workshop, are starting to move into their own end times. They they keep looking around for the next best thing. I think their IP is worth, you know, a good income. And if they get into making the Amazon TV stuff, uh, that kind of thing, and using their IP for, you know, it's the video games and the TV stuff, that kind of media thing, I think that's where their, their bulk income is going to start going. And it, it's easier. I mean, if you think about it, um, all you're doing is selling the IP. If you look at, for example, I don't know, like Tolkien's estate. So how much money they earn. And there's not one page extra written. There's, there's you know, very little. I'm not saying they're all lazy sitting around eating ice cream or anything. What I mean is, Tolkien doesn't write any more books, you know. So, it, it's all just, you know, legacy money coming in. So, and I think that's where Games Workshop, you know, they won't take risks. They won't have stock. It just drives me insane. You know, so, as far as playing the games and the hobby side, I really do think that's... But another point of that is with the games, uh, the, the computer games, and if they do do TV stuff, movie or series, um, the people are going to watch that and get inspired to say, oh, that's a tabletop game. I might try that. That looks really cool. They're going to have nothing there to offer someone. 
it's it's such a you know i don't know they should just if they don't want to produce models or at least they only want to produce x amount of models going through their production lines then license off the old stuff i don't know sell the freaking stls i don't know i don't care really anymore um it's not my company and i don't and again these these types of videos are just tiresome I guess the only reason I'm doing this is because I'm I, I'm still in disbelief of how how they do this stuff and get away with it, you know. But it's business. That's the thing. So car, you know, I guess they stop making car lines. They don't make those forever. So you know, you like the Rover 2000 back in the day. Why isn't it still? <laughs> yeah. Well, I know why. It's because cars improve. And I guess if they're replacing certain lines with better models, the models improve, that's fine. But they don't. They just drop things like a hot freaking potato because of the profit margin. Again, go back to the video. They're not your friend. They're a business. So Anyway, that's my little rant on this. Um, but, yeah, have a discussion below. Try and stay civil. And... Uh, well, we'll see where this goes. Thank you very much for watching. Watch Washing? Yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm going to try to stop doing these. Um, I want to concentrate more on like my alchemy painting videos. Um, stuff like that. The, the, um, the amount of views on those are way less. But again, you know, it, it, these... I don't know, these company bashing videos just get tiresome. So um, I'm going to try and concentrate more on the actual hobby and less on the politics and drama. Doesn't mean it, I won't, but I'm going to try. So, um, yeah. Thank you again for watching. Like and subscribe, or the Inquisition will come pay you a little visit.